After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another I've always wanted to be in law enforcement since about middle school. My older brother had his partner in the police force, was killed in the line of duty. Uh, when I saw the uh, unity that was brought by law enforcement, uh, really sealed the deal for me, had a great impact on my life. Oh, come on, answer my questions. You really don't want to go on a suicide man, do you? What's your name? Jamel. Thank you. Come on, sir. Get off the bench so we can go patch you down. Get off the bench so you can be pat down, sir, please. Keep the cuffs on. Turn left, right here. Go this way. What about the photo? Put his prop in. Uh, we'll just put it in his hat for right now and then... OK. All right, do me a favor. Go ahead and kick off all the clothes. Back over there. You have a seat on that bench if you need to. I need your clothes. Well, I was going to my truck. What happened to that? I don't know. I need you to take your shirt off, though. Is he not removing the clothing? He, he is, is slowly. He's slowly. Unzipping or something. I don't know. He's too old. Um, worrying about his fingernail. So, hey, sir, we got to get on to the next guy. I need you to come on, get out of these clothes. Take those socks on. Unfold your hands. Unclasp your I'm, hands. I'm cold. I'm busy. Yeah, well, as soon as you can let us help you get out of that, we can get started. Get on to the next thing. Open your, let me see your left hand. Well, I don't remember this like that. Take that ring off. Hold Set on. and get on and get up front. I'm now we're off. changing it. We want it now. I'm telling you, take it off. Spit the ring out. Spit the ring out. Spit it out. What's your question, bro? Get the Police ring out. Police brutality. Get the ring out of your mouth. Spit Police it out. Police brutality. Ah! Get the ring. Spit the ring, spit out, the ring out. Police brutality. Now, was that so hard? It's going to be a bad one. I got two in here. You got anything else? Anything else in your mouth? No. Stand up. Stand up. Hey. Hey. Well, I Sir? See his name. Sir, I need you to calm down. Now, why would you put that ring in your mouth to choke it yourself? It was on my finger. He you said could have take swallowed it. Up it. When he get up front, this motherfucker right here insisted. Sir, you're, you're on dress. You get out uh, tough and rough. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, not following. Time. You heard of it? You're not following huh? instructions, sir. Big boy. Hey, watch it. Evans, you spitting on me? I'm not trying to, sir. Hey, yeah. that's enough now. Yeah. You need to calm yeah. down. Let them get you changed out. You put the ring in his mouth enough to choke on it. I ain't gonna try. I ain't gonna swallow it. You got what that's the ring. No shoes on my feet. We'll get you some. We'll lay the face down. Just knees on the bench. Okay. Be fine. Let's go. Neil. Sorry. Up it seems that he's very angry about being arrested. Uncooperative. Don't want to cooperate with officers. Being placed in the county uniform. Keep your hands on the wall until we get out. All right, you can snap your jump up. What'd you bring in Jamil for? He seemed a little upset. Yeah, he was. We got a call at uh, St. Elizabeth Hospital. Somebody trespassed, and uh, when I got out there, security notified me that he was trying to break into some of the cars there. So they wanted him trespass warning from the property. As I approached him, I was in full uniform. He saw me, and he took off evading. Mm -hmm. So about two parking lots later, I called up to him, yeah. detained him, gave him a trespass warning, and then, uh, Went up charging him for evading arrest. He was fired up when he came yeah, in. Yeah, he was a little upset. He what? just recently got released from the hospital, too. Uh, yeah. I was about to ask, he had stitches in his hand. Was mm -hmm. that he just got out of there? And... He just got out of there, and I guess he figured uh, opportunity right there with the parking lot. And... Right. Hey, so a, lot a lot of cars, cars. is dark. Exactly. So. so say, all right, well, we'll take care of him from here. So all right. have a good night. Take Be safe easy, out man. there. You too. Are we going to get you some shoes? Get off the bench. Give me some uh, 11 12s or whatever this is so we can get this guy off the bench before he falls. 
Get off the bench, sir. You can sit down. Sit down. Sit down, sir. I will not fall. There's no point in with it in your head. This is his stuff. Put these shoes on and get off the bench. You cannot stand on that bench. Is that the ring you tried to eat? Yes. Okay. Here you go. So we had uh, Jamil came in. He was agitated, upset. We just took him straight into the back. We just dressed him out. While we were back there, he tried to take a ring off of his finger in his mouth and wouldn't spit it out of his mouth and give it to us. Looks like he'll be spending a little bit of time with us, uh, so he'll see the judge in the morning, and we'll get him back to the back here shortly. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. I did about four and a half years in the military. Did tour in Iraq and after finishing up that career, I just decided I wanted to do something to continue to help my community and serve. And you know, every day that we come to work here, we know that we're making a difference some way, somehow in somebody's life. Take care of them while they're here. Hopefully when they leave, they don't come back. What's going on, man? You back again? I'm doing all right. So what happened? Man, I was just cruising down the road, getting ready to go to the rig, and then here I am. <laughs> I had a worn out for my wrist for so like for having a tech well, for having no registration, that's the same thing he pulled me over for. For the warrant? Yes, sir. And I had some bull in my car. And... Were you using it or you just had it in there? I'm an everyday heroin addict, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to deal with it, but that's probably the hardest I've ever had to kick. It's worse than cigarettes, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah. Heroin or? Heroin, yes, sir. I ain't done meth in like eight weeks, though, because of that show. Doing one just so you don't do the other is... Substitute, no, no. Yeah. And then today, I just got a job, dude, paid 20 bucks an hour at O'Ryan drilling. And then I even passed my pit. Well, I passed my piss test, and that's what me up, is I passed my piss test and thought I could twist off, you know what I mean? So here I am. How much did you use today? Uh, three papers. Oh, man, I'm gonna be sick in a little while. It sucks. We'll get you in the cell here pretty soon, okay? All right, hang tight. You know, this guy, he's a hardcore heroin user, and he's not heard about heroin overdoses that have been rampant in the Midwest across the country here. Maybe this will wake him up. All right, Clayton, ready to come on in here? Go to that red square there next to the wall for me. So what'd you do in the oil field, man? Fracked wells, rouse spot, pretty much everything. But then that oil field fell out. I'm gonna show you this news article from a local news company here. Um, this just kind of shows the uh, recent overdoses that people have been using that chemical called carfentanil laced in the heroin. And you'd never know if it was in there. It just takes a grain of salt to knock out an elephant, huh? Of that chemical, yes. They say you have fun on drugs. OK, you might have fun the first time or the second time, but after once, a while, yeah, it's... once you get like with heroin, it's like it's like a mountain peak. And you start out on a flat line and you build a little bump. And then it goes back to that flat line. Yeah, keep on chasing that high until you get up all the way up there and your tolerance gets so high, dude, you know what I'm saying? And Eventually, your tolerance is so high that the next time you take a hit, it's going to kill you. Yeah, your tolerance is Because you're having to take more and more and more to get that high. Exactly, you know what I mean? It sucks because I know I'm going to be sick of the whole thing. Well, we're going to get you changed out here in just a second, and um, nurses will come by in a little while and give you, give you some meds, OK? I appreciate you, sir. All right, just keep your hands behind your back. We're going to go out here and get you changed out, all right? I mean, I just want to go back to work <laughs> and just live a normal life, but it's hard. Just real quick, did he explain to you what the charges were and everything? Go ahead and bring it down to me. OK, so you have the misdemeanor possession charge, and then you have the three warrants that you need to take care of, OK? Speeding, the failure to pierce. Hang out here for a little while, get you some sleep. If you need anything, let this officer know, okay? All right, man. Sounds like he's gonna try to go back to rehab and get right, but the moment they get out, they're faced with the same friends that they were around before that got them started on the drug, and they start making bad choices again, so only time will tell.
Clayton has been here for about 24 hours now. Um, he just got back from medical, so we, we're going to go see how he's doing, see how he's detoxing. Well, uh, them fines, it's $800 in fines. Oh, All right, I love you, Pops. I think, thank you for everything. Get it figured out. Yeah. What'd they say? Uh, then I'm gonna stay the night again. You gotta stay the night again. Yeah, no get out tonight. Sorry about that, man. It is what it is. I ain't brought myself here, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. There you go. At least you, at least you understand that. Yes, sir. All right, man. Well, we'll chat with you again here in a little bit, okay? Just go ahead and head back. Keep your hands behind your back. Go back around there where they had you, all right? Maybe tomorrow he'll have some better news, but uh, for now, his, he's gonna stay here another day. learned in dealing with drunks is a lot of the times they just want somebody to listen to their story. Uh, after they get that out and get them a hot meal, a good nap, they sober up and it makes a, a world of difference. We have a combative, possibly intoxicated individual. Let's go see what we got going on. There. Uh, he's got a warrant out of APD and then he resisted arrest. Okay. So he was taken down. He's trying to grab on the deputies, but. Ah, okay. Oh. He's drunk. We'll get medical to check him out yeah. first. Okay. He's got to blow your nose. Uh. Stop breathing through your nose. Yeah, well, he's trying to fall on his face. Ain't that hurting? Yes. OK. Why don't you sit up, then? I can't. Try and sit up, because I, I need to be sit. able to see you sitting I'm, upright to make sure your nose is. Try to sit up. Ah! Ah! And my head hurts. Well, don't hit it on the uh. concrete anymore. <laughs> Well, you're breathing. I got a place for him whenever you're ready. Uh, dude, we'll uh, come on, dude. Uh, there you go. Walk a little bit. It's good for you. Uh, Down we go. Uh, we'll keep an eye on you. We'll have medical come back and check you here a little later on, okay? We were dispatched out to his residence, him and his fiancés, uh, on a family fight. Dispatch told us that all of them had been drinking except for the girlfriend. When we got there, he had left. Uh, she was going to gather her things up and leave for the evening, uh, so we went in there to assist her with that. And when we walked in the door, he was in the bedroom. He had come back and went into the, inside the bedroom. He was very intoxicated, and he had an outstanding warrant through Amarillo Police Department, so we were going to arrest him on that. Um, while we were attempting to arrest him and place him in handcuffs, he uh, started pulling away from us and grabbed another deputy's patrol belt. So. He was arrested for assault by contact and resisting arrest. All right. Dude, for real? Hello. How you doing? Good. How much so? <laughs> well, not too good up here, right? <laughs> well, it could be better. could be worse, right? <laughs> it is what it is, bro. You taking any prescription meds? Nope. Any drugs or alcohol tonight? Drinking. Just drinking? OK. How much? Oh, I don't know. About maybe, I don't know, eight, nine beers. Worried about losing your job or spouse? She put me here? I'm going to be mad at her. I'm going to get divorced. I'm going to file for divorce. OK. So you guys got called for what now? <coughs> we got dispatched on a domestic assault. Uh, he became intoxicated and assaulted her in the restroom. OK. She slapped me, and I pushed her off me. And here I am, and she's out doing her deal. Let's go ahead and get these handcuffs off of you. And if you'll turn around for me, we're going to step right through here. Mm -hmm. You got a ride. Pretty chill. Taylor. Yeah. You want to try to come out and get booked? Yeah. Come on out this way. Uh, you feeling any better from earlier? I saw it still hurts, but I'm feeling fine. What went on last night? I was at my house. Okay. With my son. And the cops got called to me for some reason while my ex, while my girlfriend at the time was beating my son with a belt. I stopped her, so she called the cops. And it's just sad she got to drive away, and I'm here in jail. I'm pressing charges on her when I get out. I have a lawyer. There wasn't an altercation between you guys? No. It was just called because she, she was... She was just mad. All right. Well, on your resisting arrest, it's going to be a $1,500 bond on that, OK? And then for the warrant on that assault, it's, it's going to be anyway, that can be disputed, because I didn't resist arrest. Not from right now. Either stick around till Monday till you see the judge, or you can bond out on it. All right, we'll get your fingerprinted, get you checked by medical, and take you out back to the pods, OK? Yes. 
Uh, looks like Taylor ended up getting mixed up and maybe a little bit more than he bargained for. But uh, maybe he can end up getting bonded out later tonight. Juan, what happened earlier tonight? We was out drinking, partying. And... I met my few blue and white. We got home, she was chasing dogs, she got pissed off, she fell. I don't know what happened. She flipped, I don't know. Well, you think she's gonna get you out of here or think she's gonna leave you for the night? Oh, hell no, I, I got other people to get me out. Other people to get you out? I have money. <laughs> okay. You've got the assault by contact. It's gonna be a $500 bond, okay? Once your bond shows up, I'm gonna contact your wife, let her know that four hours from then you'll get out of jail. From then? Mm -hmm. Not from the time I've already been here? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. She's not my wife. I mean, she shouldn't even be in my house. I mean, she was my fiance. She anymore. was your fiance? She was. So take the, that's no longer a deal for you guys? No. Okay. It's over now. When she smoked weed, she gets freaking crazy, man. Yeah? And she smoked too much weed tonight. Okay, if you'll chill out, watch some TV, and we'll wait for your bond to show up, OK? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Looks like Juan's going to try to bond out tonight. It's an unfortunate deal because, you know, people all over the place go out to go have a good time. Mm -hmm. End up coming back home, get into an argument, and yeah. events turn out this way. It'll happen again tomorrow night, and hopefully somebody else will have better luck. And won't have to come to jail for it. I was born and raised here in Texas. I love Texas. There's so much to do. You can go anywhere from the mountains to fishing on the coast. If you can't find anything to do in Texas, then you're not going very far. Hey, what's up, Jones? Right this way. Yeah, right over here. Misdemeanor theft, Jones. That's it, just misdemeanor theft, Jones? All right, all right. Nothing else on you, right, sir? No. OK. All right, come right this way, to the right. To the right. All right, have a seat right there. All right, just hang out there. They're gonna get you signed in with the nurse. Just listen for your name. Hey, Jims. Hey. How'd you come into contact with Willie? Uh, he was involved in a theft of alcohol from mm -hmm. one of our convenience stores. Mm -hmm. And the detectives did a you know, warrant for him. Warrant was just issued on the first. And uh, they saw him come out of another convenience store, waiting for a marked unit, approached him, said, hey, Willie. And he's like, yeah. They identified him, and then they just took him into custody for the rest of the war, and all I did was transport him. It was alcohol at that, right? This was a convenience store. We just ran in and grabbed a couple cases of beer and ran out. But okay. since he's a, he's a career criminal, that's why his bond is $5,000 on a Class B misdemeanor. He's a frequent flyer, unfortunately for him. All right, then. All right, Willie, I'm going to go over your property. You're going to sign for everything just like last time. This is for your property, including... Why do you have three cans of spam? I was on my way to sell them. I got on your way to Zell. That's how you make your buddy? Uh, well, well, one of the ways. <laughs> one of the ways. One of the ways. Uh. Yeah, misdemeanor theft charge, class B misdemeanor, okay. with a $5,000 bond. Okay. So you were at the, just like the convenience store when they came, they saw you and came and got you? I had went in the bathroom, came out, got my purse, and went back in the bathroom, and then they knocked it on the he knocked on the door. And I was like, oh my God, the police. Did like, you know you had a warrant? No, if I didn't know, if I knew how to warn, I would have stayed in. Do you feel that you needed to go in protection? Were you in protection last time you were here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. Uh, right. If I go somewhere else, I might cause a problem. You know, the guys might try to fight over me or something. They might. You never know. I have actually seen it happen before. <laughs> All right. Come, come over here for me. Last time you were here, just three months ago, right? Yeah. So wh why'd you come in so quick? So well, actually, see, I mean, it's like, the, the, I, 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 I use drugs a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. and I'm in a position that the predicament is, I'm here right now because of the choices that I made, because I mean, you know, drugs is, it's just something, it's just something that I chose to do, and it's just like, it's got a hold on me, and I, I try to break away from it. As long as it's there where I'm at, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna continue wanting to use, you know? What's your? Cocaine, crack okay. cocaine. I lost my boyfriend to drugs. Uh, I've lost a lot. I lost my apartment, everything. I've been in and out of this jail ever since I was like 16. That's like, mm, 20 some years. You know, mm -hmm. I'm tired when I feel as though this is God's, God's way of sparing me, you know? All right, just have a seat in here, Willie. And 
have a giant sack lying over there. Another giant sack? I haven't been eating anything in the last two days. I've been on a drug set. This is the only time I, I really get to just eat and sleep is when I'm locked down, and that's a shame. Just have a seat, and I'll come back for you in just a second to get okay. you processed in. Hopefully, Willie will be able to bond out and get back out there and stay off the, the drug so he doesn't have to worry about coming back and he can get his life straight. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another I've been here at the sheriff's office for about 10 years. We're all a pretty close knit group. Uh, we enjoy spending some of our time, you know, playing softball, stuff like that when we're off. Uh, it just keeps everybody close and uh, watching out for one another. You got on view warrants? What's on, on view? What you got on him? Disorderly conduct. DOC. Anything to drink today? A lot. A lot? How much, man? Six beers. So what happened tonight? What What's going on tonight? <sighs> good question. That's a very good question. I'm not even sure. You got some knots on your head and stuff. What happened? I'm getting arrested because I fell downstairs. Think that alcohol had anything to do with it? Oh, yeah. I fell downstairs because of alcohol. Uh -huh. And then they showed up, and I was like, I don't want to go with you. And they're like, oh, you're coming with me. Well, they said you were at the hospital. What happened at the hospital? I told them this is don't let me out, so they arrested me. Oh, no sense cussing. I'll is cuss any time I want. Okay. okay. Got anything on you, anything like that, man, we need to be aware of? Nope. Go ahead and stand up for me. I'm kicking shoes off and just search you, okay? Well, let's not kick them. You say kick them. I mean, kick them off. Don't mean kick them at me. Off. Okay. All right, Jonathan, let's walk this way. We'll get you. Uh, we got a tray in there. Go T2. Yeah, that'll work. You bet, and I'll probably get you a blank. All right, man. There you go. Uh, give me a couple minutes, we'll get you a shirt and a blanket, okay? We will. Give me a couple minutes, see what's going on. Appreciate you, bud. What y'all get Jonathan for? Disorderly conduct. Looked like he fell or did something. Well, originally, it was just a medical call. He'd fallen down a flight of stairs, and then he was being combative with AMS. So we got there. We, we went with him to the hospital, and then he turned it into what it was. He was cussing at the hospital, cussing at staff, kind of getting unruly. So he's obviously been drinking as well. So we just went ahead and hooked him up for that. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate you. Well, how did the day start out? I mean, what happened? I started drinking with my friends. Mm -hmm. I tripped over some stairs, and now I'm in jail. And I don't understand why I'm in jail at all, dude. Please tell me what I did wrong, because I really don't understand what I did wrong. Well, they got you for disorderly conduct. How? With the uh, AMS employees. I don't know because if you made threats. Because I refused. Threats. No, I refused. Well, well, you were talking about earlier maybe going to rehab or something, and you still said you'd have an alcohol problem. Have you thought about that anymore? I would love to, but. I don't know who to go to, dude. I'm living the life where I thought I would have been good. All right. But it has been all the way. So alcohol makes it okay. You know, like, hey, at least my life's not completely because I can ignore it, you know? Well, have you thought about doing something else? I mean, like in the what? sense of like what? finding another hobby. I've already got hobby. two felonies. I caught them at 17. My life is ruined from a piece of because I up my life at 17. Well, I don't think you really messed it up. I mean, they're still here. Of course still I did. Here. I'm right here right now, right? right? For falling down the stairs. And so now I got disorderly conduct for not going to the hospital. Well, they were concerned. I think that's what the situation was. <laughs> I'm sorry, Castle Bay. Get these fingerprints done, I'll show you that knot on the back of your head. I bet it's throbbing a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Walk around the printer here. Go ahead and place your feet on the 
in the square. All right, look down this hallway for me, Jonathan. I turn a little more. All right, Jonathan, before I send you to the back, step over here and let me show you this. See the knot on it? Yes. You got a pretty good little goose egg there. But if I don't see you tomorrow, man, I wish you good luck and if use that help that's there, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Now, just have a seat on that front row and we'll get you taken care of in just a minute. Now, Jonathan's been coming here for over 10 years now. Hadn't been here in a while, so obviously he's been doing pretty good. Hopefully, this will open his eyes a little bit. Maybe he'll get the help that he wants and needs. I was born and raised here in Texas. I was born in Lubbock. I've been here going on almost nine years now. I've learned a lot since I've been here. I've done a lot of stuff with the gangs. If you treat people with respect and, and fairness, then usually they'll respond likewise with you. Right, I got one incoming. He's actually been here a couple of times before. What are you back for now, man? A ticket? That's it, right? All right. About to say, a warrant or just an on view traffic ticket? A warrant, a warrant for my ticket. A warrant for yeah, what? What for a ticket? ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the ticket for? Um, driving out of the seatbelt. I'm definitely, I'm, I'm here dropping them off for a task force to take care of it. Task force gonna take care of it? It's part of the, part of the raid. So you're telling me that, wait, he bringing you in here, transporting you for the task force, but you're only trying to say you're only getting one ticket? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know that means you're going to have to sit down there and hold it until narcotics, I assume narcotics, right? Correct. Comes and does all your paperwork. You can take his cuffs off, give okay, me his and stuff. that's his part of his property? OK. What the hell is this? What are you doing? You know, it's just the wireless. It looks like a gun. Okay, like yeah. Yeah, that's what it looked like. That's why I grabbed it, like, you know. Man. Yeah, you know this is going to pull this out. You can get yourself shot on that street, right? Oh, yeah. I know. Man, come on. Let's go through here. Gotcha. I got him. All right, thank you. You're waiting on people to come and do your paperwork. Oh. So you got to sit down, sit down here and chill by yourself. 16, open open five. Seriously, though, you need to get rid of this thing when you get out there. Yeah. That's stupid on your part, man. Okay. And you know that, too. All right, man. Just right. chill in there. I'll let you know when narcotics gets here. Wow. Richmond PD brought him in. Supposedly, he's just here for a warrant for a traffic ticket. However, the transporting officer said that he was waiting on narcotics to come in to do the paperwork. So at this time, I don't know what he's being charged with. Hey, All right, take one more picture of you. Stand over there. Look straight. I'm going to take a Yes, you do. What's your charge again? Fade to appear. All right, come over here. Fair to appear for what? DWI. I was already incarcerated in another uh, county for the same situation. I just got caught up, you know what I'm saying, doing the wrong, making the wrong move, you know? Mm -hmm. that I do regret, I do live with the regret. Come get older, not younger. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I, I don't want to see nobody go down this road. All right. I'm not I'm blaming y'all for me being here. Because we all grown men. And we got the AKAs, not our shoe side. Mm -hmm. How'd you get the DWA? A friend of mine I haven't seen in a long time, you know, went to a house warming. Mm -hmm. And we was basically smoking marijuana. And um, one thing led to another, you know, got to acquainted with some old classmate friends slash people that I don't need to be around. When it's time me to go home, I wasn't eligible to drive, so I called myself, you know, getting a responsible driver. They ended up building out on me when the, once the cops got involved. Your and friends did out of the car? Yeah. At the time, I was upset, but discipline starts at home. Right. My wife was telling me, don't even go out. God works in mysterious ways. Take heed to the warning signs, you know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pick that up. I'm gonna head back over here to the phone. Sit right there. OK. All right, thanks. All right. So he came in for DWI. Hopefully, when he gets out of here and bonds out, he'll be able to get back on the right path. Alexander, come here real quick. 
Well, I've been dealing with you for eight years now. Yes, yeah. Why are you been coming in here with a, a knife that looks like a pistol? You know everything going on. That's... Oh, no, that was for um, a president. Well, I'm glad you didn't pull it out on anybody. No, you don't. Know, Try to be messing around. I'm trying to stop the violence. Mm, good. What are you here for, anyway? I'm a ticket. Traffic ticket. Traffic ticket. So why are we holding you for narcotics? Because I was down the road when they raided. And I, I, I was down the road talking to somebody. And they just came out of nowhere. I got caught in the process. So, all right. But you're done with that. Oh, yeah, I'm done with okay. I'm done with everything. You know how that goes. You got to talk to the judge tomorrow, see what he says. All right. But I'll, I'll talk to you later, all right? All right. That's another case of a man who I have been dealing with for nine years, and he's been trying to better himself and adjust his from his old ways. He's just having a little difficulty transitioning. Hopefully, he'll be able to do it. Most of the people coming in here, how do you rate their health? Physical Physically. may be fine, but mentally it's not Mental good. health. Mental illness is one of the biggest issues we face around the entire country, mental illness. Yes. How are you, sir? What's first in our lives? Family. Family. You kind of like the day shift, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, spend time with your family. Take care of your family. This job will take care of itself. That's the way it is. You guys have done a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Very, very proud. Well done, sir. That's fine. They took my wallet, took my phone, everything. But I'm not, I'm not looking for wallet and cell phone. I'm a country boy from. Nothing is funny. My sister knows. What, what, what is he here for? You need to calm down. You understand that? If you keep this up, you're going to end up in a padded cell, so you need to calm down, all right? I'm sorry your baby's getting born, you got other stuff going on. We all have stuff going Three on. Three miscarriages, too. Okay. My but first child, Listen, man. listen, Wesley. If you don't calm down, you're gonna make this process take longer. Okay, I'm sorry. You understand? I'm sorry, okay. So I'm, you need I'm, to calm I'm, down. I'm blind, man. All right, come on. They took my car keys, so I get pissed. Of course I'm gonna go in there and ransack. This is my first child, man. This is serious about me. Where they arrest you I'm at? I'm serious about my kids and my mother's house. OK. This is my first child, and this is my first infant. I really want to be there. My dad died from smoking methamphetamine. My mom is smoking crack and stuff like that. They never took care of us. I'm not going to go about that. If you don't calm down, it's, it's not going to help you. Let yes, me find sir. out what's going on, and I'll get back with you, OK? I got stuff to do, man. I got a okay. kid on the way in the All right, Wesley, just give me just a minute, man, all right? So what did you bring Wesley in for? He started a big fight over at his mama's house. Mm -hmm. He'd been drinking and came back from out with his friends and just started getting buck wild and tore up the house, tore up the, the inside of the house, all the lawn furniture, all the plants, started throwing that stuff around, threatening everybody, saying he was going to shoot everybody. And just He's an emotional wreck. So. He's got a he's, kid on the way tonight? Well, at first, uh, it was an infant. And now mom is pregnant with him. Then when we got closer to the jail, it was the baby's going to be born tonight. I think he's just. So what'd y'all get him for? Uh, assault family violence. We got to prevent it from happening. All right, man. All right. Let me talk to him and see what's going on. Uh, what we're going to do, OK? Step inside this cell right here. What I need you to do is I need you to take your clothes off and your boots off, OK? You be step back, step back. You're being put in here because you made a suicidal statement to the arresting officer and then the nurse's office. Okay? So I'll ask you to get stripped butt naked. Yes, yeah. you're gonna get stripped butt naked and then you're gonna be in here and then our mental health professionals are gonna come talk to you. This is for your safety, okay? Oh my God. This, is for, this just isn't nothing against you, okay? This is for your safety. We have your time. I didn't even do anything. I understand, this isn't I a fun Hey. I'll start them here. Like this? Need everything. Oh, you want to be butt ass naked? Yep. I'm chipping with Dan. I've been naked in front of females. It's back up to the wall. Anytime they make those suicidal remarks, this is what happens. Chances are he'll probably be cleared by the uh, mental health professional. You got keys. You will see my lawyer. That's fine. I just know both district attorneys for this county and next county. Best friends with this county. Go to Europe and France with it. You being in here, like I tried to tell you, is not a punishment. You're in here because you made a suicidal statement. Anytime anybody makes a suicidal statement, 
They get put in here for their safety, okay? Until the mental health professional comes and talks to you. So just sit down and chill out, okay? All right. So I see you got cleared out of padded. Just put your back on that wall. Mm -hmm. You got cleared out of padded. Everything's good now. Mm -hmm. A lot more calm than you were before. Yeah. Saw the judge, everything. Mm -hmm. Where they set your bond at? 500. You're going to bond I'm out? I'm get ready to go home. Yeah, in a little bit. You said daughter last night was supposed to be being born? My son. Well, that's good. You know how many different stories you told last night? Dude, I was I was fried, man. Yeah, you were. You said that your, your girlfriend or wife was in labor and you had a son on the way. Then you said you already had a kid. No, 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 my, my, my girl really didn't have a kid today, though. OK. It was crazy. That's what happened with what Jen does. That's what Jen does, too. Is that what you were drinking with yeah. Jen? My mother gave me the bottle. <laughs> oh, so you're just going to rat your mama out, too? Yeah. The arresting officer said something about you were cutting up things with a hatchet. I just remember before I talk, before I started drinking, I talked to my girl. She said she was doing fine. My sister told me, oh, she's in labor, woo -woo -woo. everything got kind of out of hand. The family had a problem. Mm -hmm. So that then my stepdad came up to me. Before I know it, he's on the ground, knocked out. I got blood all over me. I get up here, they was like, you think it's suicidal? I'm like, nah, man, I am a little bit dope. They throw me in the damn room in this bum butt ass naked. That's, that's what happens when you say you're serious. And I'm crying. Like, dude, I almost cried in that room. It was so damn cold in that room, man. Person like me, do I recuperate in my head, you know what I'm saying? I went to school for two years for psychology. All right, well, maybe I'll see you on the way out and we'll talk then. But all right, no for now, let me stick you back in here and you can now explain to all these other guys. All right. Go in there. When this door closes, you'll hear that door pop open. Pull it, go on in, man. I'll see you on the way out, Wesley. All right. All right. You can get out and handle things the right way and not come back here. I started working here at Fort Bend County at a really young age, at 19. My friends think it's dangerous. Whenever I first started training in the towers, my FTO was very big about safety. She said, your main goal is to go home at the end of the night. Have you ever been to jail before? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go this way, right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a right. And uh, what's your first name? Nancy. Nancy? Yeah. Common spelling? F-A-N-C-Y. Uh, what happened? She was brought in on uh, trademark mm -hmm. counterfeiting, the Louis Vuitton purses, Chanel. So pretty much like all the high names, all Coach, high end, high end, high end trademark yeah. stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, but they were all knockoff fakes. Mm -hmm. HBD did a sting, and one of their agents go and buy from her. Mm -hmm. um, they determined it was a fake, so she was buying her stuff from Houston wholesale, and then selling it to other people, ripping them off. Yeah, um, sure. Last week they had a search warrant to search for uh, property. Mm -hmm. Found a couple dozen purses, shoes, watches, belts. So is the reason why she got in trouble because she stated that it was real? You can buy fake purses, but but you know it's fake. The people you buy it, you're buying it from, have to you tell you. have to tell you it's okay. fake. So you, instead of paying $1,500 for a coach purse, you can go ahead and buy it for $50 knowing it's a knockoff, but you can't go ahead and turn around and sell that for 500 or mm -hmm. 1,000 to make a profit off of that. That's I gotcha. illegal. OK. So what's she going to be charged with? Um, she's going to be charged with uh, trademark counterfeiting. Mm -hmm. It's a felony offense. She okay. knew it was fake, but gotcha. as far as selling it, she didn't know she can get in trouble. OK. All right, step over here in front of this machine for me. Now I'm going to do your fingerprints. So you already knew about this charge? You had a warrant? Yeah. No, about the warrant, no. They told me just was for a warning. And today you came to my house and, and arrest me. Three times? Were your kids there? Yeah. They, they, they don't arrest me in front of my kids. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, I think a lot. So how do you feel about that, that they know you're not there now? I feel horrible. I feel miserable. But you do know what you did was wrong, correct? Yeah. Not that wrong, but yeah. no, it's wrong. 
is wrong. I know that I did something that is not legal, but I never believed that I have to go to jail because of that. So was it successful? I mean, was it helping your I family out a lot? That, that, that's not successful. Like, that can make me rich, no. Right. Because when they took my stuff, they know that I have a lot of stuff. Right. But I can pay my bills at least. But like, look, look at me right now. I'm in jail. I don't know where's my kids. We're done. I don't want to see you in here no more, Nancy. All right? It's because you care about your kids and your kids care about you. OK? All right, we're finished. You can go out there to the right and use the phone, OK? Thank you. And go right here to the right for me. She moved here to get a better life for her mom and her kids. Hopefully, she'll be getting out relatively soon. Whenever I asked her about her family, she seemed genuinely upset and concerned. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids, I don't want